Hey people, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a 3D animated illustrations from a static image by using AI Image Generator and Premiere Pro so you can create something like this. The first thing you need is to generate images using your favorite AI tool, in my case it's Adobe Firefly, but you can use stock images or images you shot yourself, there is no limitations here. Next to prepare the images, I use Photoshop to separate different layers and objects I want to use for the animation, but if you don't have or you don't know how to use Photoshop, you can do it in Premiere Pro or other photo editing softwares, but I do recommend using Photoshop because I think it's the best photo editing tool. So for my animation, I split the image into two different layers, the foreground with the Spartan Warriors and the background. And make sure that before you start animating your footage, to use a AI image upscaler to improve the quality of your images. Otherwise, it might not look very nice when you only made them. All right, people, now in Premiere Pro, the first thing, obviously, is to drop the images onto the timeline. So the first one will be the background, and then I'm going to drag the Spartan Warriors over the background layer. And the next thing I will do is select the background, go to the effect control panel and resize it a bit like that. Now it looks much better. And now the next thing I will do is go select the soldier slayer, go back to the effect control panel and rescale it as well. So I think 50. 57 looks fine and also I'll change the position to the left like that and I think it looks perfect like that. What I will do next is have the cursor at the beginning of the animation and then hit the toggle button animation onto the scale so we can create a keyframe and then I'm gonna go down to the anchor point and create keyframe here as well but I shouldn't move from the scale first of all I should have increased the scale now up to 150 and then I will go down to the anchor point and change the value to 1456 like that and now I'm gonna move a few frames forward then I will change the value to the anchor point back to the original one now again I'm gonna move the cursor all the way almost until the end of the animation and scale it down to 57 so now when we have created the keyframes I will play it and see what it looks like Okay, it looks not so bad, but as you can see, it's too stiff and we're going to make it a little bit smoother. So to do that, I will select the first two keyframes, right click, temporal interpolation and ease out. And I'm going to select the last two keyframes, right click and is in. Also, I uh, will open the scale properties, select one of the keyframes. And here you can see the velocity levers. So I'm going to drag the left lever to the right like that. And we're going to create that kind of hill. So when I play it again, you can see straight away the difference. It looks much smoother. So it starts very slow and then it's spinning up at the end of the animation. And pretty much that's the, the whole animation of the video, guys. Well, no, I'm joking. There is more to come. So the next thing I would do is go to the effects. So I'm going to find the Gaussian blur effect and drop it over to the soldiers layer and then over to the background layer. And now I'm going to move the cursor back at the beginning of the animation, select the soldiers, then go back to the effect control panel, find the Gaussian blur, create keyframe and then increase the blurriness all the way to 63. So like that, we're going to give this lens blur effect and as you can see now the camera is focused onto the background so the main objects are blurred and what i will do next is move the cursor somewhere over here to that point and bring the blurriness back to zero and the next thing i'll do is go to the background layer and do exactly the same so here i'm gonna create another keyframe but this time i'm gonna increase the blurriness all the way up to 112 and then i'm gonna move back at the beginning and decrease it down to zero guess what again i'm gonna smoothen them right click is out right click is in i'll do the same thing with the soldiers is out is in and let's play it again and see what it looks like nice and as you can see adding this small effect it made the video much better but it's still not alive so to make it alive we have to add some effects and to add the effects i'll be using a paid plugin which is called the aegis pack manager i'm not gonna go into details about this plugin i'm gonna leave a link in the description down below and also you can watch my two videos about it going through it and what they can offer to you anyway the first effect i will add will be a metal 
I don't know why metal, but it looks really cool. So I'm gonna grab this one and click on to import. And then I'm gonna shorten it up. And next thing I'll do, I'll move the soldiers above the meteor so the meteor could be under the soldiers. The next thing I'll do is go to the effect control panel. From there, I'm gonna change the blend mode from normal to screen while the layer is still selected. And let me just go at the beginning of the animation. And now you can see the meteor over there, but I want to change the direction. So I'm gonna rotate it from right to the left and let's play it cool it looks amazing already and now the next effect i will add is embers i think this one looks really cool again i'm gonna click on it and import then i'm gonna go back at the beginning and reposition it a bit from the effects control panel of course i'm gonna move it to the left increase the bit like that and i will duplicate it one more time and now the next thing i will do is to add a little bit of camera shake effect so to do that i'm gonna go to the project panel and from here i have already created a adjustment layer so i'm gonna go and drop it over all other layers and then i will go to effects and again i'm gonna use a paid plugin which is called the film impact they've got already pre-made presets and their camera shake effect it's really really good so simply i'm gonna grab it and drop it over to the adjustment layer but if you want to find out how to create your own camera shake effect you can watch this video somewhere over here now when we have applied the camera shake effect i'm gonna go back to the effect control panel and from here from the camera modes i'm gonna change it from one-handed to still and let's play it wow but without sound effects or any music, it doesn't look right. So I have already prepared some music and sound effects. So I'm just gonna simply grab it and drop it. And let's play it from the beginning. And as you can see, adding some music and some sound effects transformed the video completely and took it to a whole new level. Yeah, and uh, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, smash that like button and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to find out more Premiere Pro tutorials. And as always, thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.